Well, it's about time. It's been about 42 days since the last iOS update. iOS 10.2.1 is now available for your iPhones. Let's find out what it's all about right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iOS 10.2.1 update video now i'm going to show you this on the iphone 6s plus simply because it does download extremely quickly on this device but i will be covering ios 10.2.1 on the iphone 5s as well as the se as well as the iphone 5 and possibly the 6 i think that's coming soon to the channel but you can see right here 72 megabytes there's not even a read more section so all this is is bugs and improvements but let's go ahead and download and install it right here live on camera for you guys but i want to talk about it a little bit more because this is simply not just a simple minor update it's simple in the sense that you're not going to see any differences in terms of the software but we are going to test to see if the iphone 5s performs quicker on the update so we're going to show you in the future the speed before it updates and the speed after um, i'm not going to do it here on the 6s plus but i'm also going to do that on the se but there was extremely big security holes in this update right here dozens of vulnerabilities that apple has found and apple's been kind of in the dark about you know this update you didn't ever knew when it was going to release and you know i realized that i don't know when this thing is going to release and it released today but this is going to cover multiple malicious applications and they had to hire some of the top hacker researchers to find out how to fix this actually these people worked for google's project zero and uh, they found so many uh, bugs in this system here on 10.2 that this is a highly vulnerable I mean it's not highly vulnerable like everyone's gonna get a you know a bug or something but these are some big security holes that people can delete your files they can get into your files and execute code and stuff like that so if you're on iOS 10.2 um, and you're, you're you're doing some stuff that might be a little bit iffy I would get off of iOS 10.2 and go and get this iOS 10.2.1 update really quickly here if they get a hold of your system they can add files delete files and execute any actions they would like to your you know your iPhone so um, I would go ahead and do this update so in terms of features in terms of the way it's going to look there's gonna be no differences here in terms of the way it looks here so iOS 10.3 should be coming sometime next month. We're going to have to see when that drops. But just like all of the Apple updates, you never really know. They uh, they do talk about when they release betas and stuff like that. But this one specifically fixed some features in Safari, as well as the App Store and some iOS applications as well. So this is really Apple's issue here in 10.2.1, like some of their own system-based applications. And this is not really something that's going to add features to your devices here so like i say if you're on any of the iphones running ios 10.2 you might want to go ahead and check this one out it's extremely important even though it might seem very simple sometimes the simple things are the most important things here in life so i'm gonna go ahead and let this finish because it's seemingly taking quite a bit of time here on my wi-fi connection i'll be updating you guys in just a bit i'm gonna turn the camera off real quick and be right back so while it's still updating let's just take a quick look around ios just so you can see how it looks before we go ahead and update it um, some people think you're going to get new apps. You're not going to get anything new here. I just want you to take a quick look at the software. Um, just so you know, you can see that everything's going to look exactly the same. We can even run a quick test here. I'm going to go ahead and start a timer here. Um, you know, let's start a stopwatch actually. Let's hit start and let's go into the calculator. Let's come out of there. Let's go into camera. Let's come out of there. Let's go into the settings. Let's come out of there and let's go into weather. Let's come out of there. Let's go back in the clock and stop that. So 11.36. So remember that we went into calculator. We went into settings. We went into the clock as well as the weather. So we're going to do that little small test. And you can see the speed is going to be exactly the same. No major fixes here. Very small update. So install now. You can see I'm going to go ahead and install it. It should verify the update here for iOS 10.2.1. And it shouldn't take that much longer after this. So here we are, we are now in iOS 10.2.1. You can see it says right here on the iPhone 6S Plus, iOS 10.2.1 here. So I'm gonna go ahead inside of the software and go ahead and show you, if I go into general, about device, you can see I am now on iOS 10.2.1 here 
14D27. So it's 14D27, the latest version of iOS here for my iPhone 6S Plus. Now, like I said, before we went ahead and updated, it, there's absolutely no visual changes here throughout the device. It's the same speed. There's no speed differences as well. We're not even gonna run that numbers test. It doesn't really even matter. No speed differences at all here in iOS 10.2.1. So yeah, that's pretty much it here. Go ahead and get this update if you really want to fix those bug vulnerabilities, which I highly, highly recommend you go do if you didn't, if you are on the iOS 10 platform for your iPhone. Like I say, there will be iPhone 5S iOS 10.2.1 review coming tomorrow, iPhone SE coming, iPhone 5 as well, and we will be doing more battles and coverages on the latest iOS 10.2.1 version. Let me know what you guys want to see on iOS 10.2.1. It's going to be a great week here for iOS 10.2.1 to see if anything changes. People might say this is minor, but we're going to see how minor it really is in the real world. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. We got reviews, we got blogs, we got iOS updates, we got Android videos, we got all kinds of every and anything that comes to mind technology. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.